They call it spring break for a reason and clearly a lot of folks need one as the nation's airports are experiencing record level travel this Easter weekend, and this could prove to be the calm before the travel storm. The FAA anticipates even busier airports next week, not only because of spring breakers, but those flying to get the best view of the solar Part eclipse of the happening on travel. April 8th. Joy Benedict has more. It's the rush to relaxation this holiday weekend. People are tired of the cold weather. Part of a busy spring break travel season that could see up to 167 million passengers hitting the skies from March through April, up 6% from last year. You missed a plane. Missed a plane. I'm about to miss one now. This Easter weekend kicked off with the TSA screening more than 2.7 million passengers Thursday, its 10th busiest day on record and another travel woe. I just had a, a Dreamliner to attempt to land runway 2 off one around due to winter. Six passengers reported minor injuries after this United Airlines flight was forced to abort a landing at Newark Airport Friday due to high winds. It landed safely at an airport 60 miles away. As for the roads, it's pretty much bumper to bumper, uh, like standstill almost. In Northern California, a weekend snowstorm is causing slowdowns for drivers. Oh, it almost feels like Christmas. This actually could prove to be the calm before the travel storm as the FAA is predicting even busier airports next weekend, not only because of spring breakers, but those looking to travel for the solar eclipse on April the 8th. Joy Benedict, CBS News, Los Angeles.